it's Tom here and welcome back to the brand new Liverpool Career Mode episode and we have a banger today with some great games coming up including the Manchester City big Premier League title race showdown. Guys if you enjoy these episodes I'm trying to upload as often as possible. Let's get this video to 100 likes and let me know in the comments below which country are you watching from. I want to see what kind of countries are watching my videos and comment of the day goes out to this guy or these guys below me on the screen. Thank you so much for your great support on the previous videos we have a lot of fixtures coming up so against Watford who are just above the relegation zone I thought let's play our second team this second team is still really strong Luis Diaz and Sadio Mane start among other players but this Watford team is pretty solid I have to say welcome to the Watford Liverpool game let's get another win under our belt we are on such good winning run in the Premier League let's keep it going by Osai Samuel, what a name for a winger and we have to be careful uh oh oh Alisson with his leg, that's an unorthodox save are we Elliot to Doku go on Doku, use your pace, come on oh Doku still has the ball, Radu saves it we are caught on the break by a Watford counter-attack, but Neko Williams, brilliant, absolutely brilliant defending, and Doku is in! Jeremy Doku, can he finish? He can! Jeremy Doku, it's 1-0 Liverpool, this is why I wanted to give the second team a chance, so players like Doku can show me what they can do. He just has so much pace Doku, and this season finally he has the finishing to bury these chances. Could be dangerous. Uh -oh. No way! Alisson with a brilliant block! And Diaz has it. Oh, that is a red card. Ball was not even there. Oh no, how is he so wide open? Wow, that was a brilliant through ball and Dennis finishes it. Before I could react, he was already in front of Alisson. Watford were like uh, sleepwalking in this attack, but then just one through ball and they are in. Go on, go on Echo. Michael Williams to Luis Diaz. Oh. They are sitting off Luis Diaz, but his shot is in. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my goodness. No way. Alex, they score again. Watch for take the lead. This could be the shock of the season. And I remember, I think last season or the season before last, we, we also lost to Watford in similar circumstances that we were 1-0 up, they turned it around and I couldn't make a substitution because there was no break in play for the last like 30 minutes of the game. Brilliant finish. Let's bring on the big guns. Jota, Chiesa and Trent Alex-Ronald are all coming. Really? For the right moment for that final pass. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's it. It's game over. We lost to Watford. After beating Arsenal, we lose to lowly Watford. And that is ridiculous. They had like three chances. It's a massive deflection of Konate. But how is it that when I play my second team, sometimes they are brilliant and sometimes they are pretty average. Maybe that's why they are the second team, you know. They don't deliver consistency. It's a Konate on goal. Oh, that is harsh. It's a Konate on goal. Oh, that is harsh. Go on, Kiesa. Come on, Mane! Yes! Get the ball! Mane gets a goal back. We still have hope. Brilliant run by Kiesa and Mane at the back post. I, I just had a feeling I could go in there. We still need another goal. Watford are very smart. No! They kept the 
the ball, but no, they... Oh my goodness. I thought they were just keeping the ball in the corner. How did we concede four goals against Watford? That is absolutely crazy. And they are rightfully celebrating because they this, this result could take them out of the relegation zone. So it's a massive. And for Watford to beat Liverpool 4-2. And again, I mean, Konate, what are you doing? Konate and Trent just leaving that guy wide open. This is another lesson that in the Premier League there are no in games I thought my second team could handle Watford how wrong was I and we got smashed Watford took all their chances they had expected goals of four so the result is justified they deserved to win they took their chances and when Chiesa and uh, Jota came on our team was better going forward but defensively with Montes and Konate at the back we were absolutely awful Dennis was the man of the match but it could have been Quina as well he had a brilliant game Chelsea have beaten Man City at the Etihad so they took full advantage so they are now level on points but thankfully their next game they already played one game more it was a draw against Sheffield United so Man City's woes continue and Man United have beaten Arsenal so Man United are are now closer to us uh, they are five points behind that's still a significant cap thankfully Chelsea couldn't beat Sheffield United so they didn't overtake us we so we still have a three point cushion at the top if we win our next game and Man City Tottenham and Arsenal are still mired in mid table but Man City bounced back with a win and that win for Watford was massive because they are now out of the relegation zone and this Newcastle team is even better than the Watford side that we lost to but now I'm playing my strongest possible lineup and it's funny that Newcastle signed the target in this career mode before they signed him in real life well what a game we have in store for you today the hosts have been scoring freely all season but they face the best defense in the league who will come out on top it's Liverpool they take on Newcastle United it's the best attack against the best defense in the Premier League as you saw in that preview of the match let's match Newcastle Jota, Moussa, Sanchez, go on Fabinho, and Chiesa, ah, La Font, come on Chiesa, oh this is beautiful, Federico Chiesa, and Sanchez, oh, it's Firmino, Sanchez, oh, he tips it onto the post, La Font, Let's go, Salah. Moussa! Bang! Finally! We take the lead. Let's go out to the fans to celebrate. And of course, who else but Mo Salah, our top scorer. Oh, this pass by Fabinho is brilliant. And I trusted Salah to somehow find the top corner. He nutmegs the defender with his shot. Look at that. Shakes his balls. <laughs> Yes. Eight goals now for Salah in 13 matches. Why did I not play him against Watford? Effective challenge. Go on, Jota. Diogo, Jota. And block for now. Jota. Salah, please. No Salah. Uh, Ronaldo Sanchez with it now. Sanchez. Boom. Oh, what a chance. Fabinho. Sanchez. Jota, please, Diogo! Jota! What the feather! That was not a spectacular goal! Goal by Diogo! Let's go! Oh, look at the Anfield crowd celebrating. I needed this second goal just to make it sure that we win this game. What a spectacular Spectacular finish. Oh, Diogo Jota, take a bow, son. That is absolute magic. Oh, no. Joelinton, great block, Gomez. Fantastic. But then, oh, what a goal. Oh, that is another spectacular goal. Kökçü is probably a Turkish midfielder. Scored a similarly amazing goal. I still think that Jota's goal was better. I blocked the first shot brilliantly and then from like 25 yards out he picks out the top corner. Firmino please! Bobby Firmino! Oh no way. Alisson! Oh I thought that was in for a second. Four minutes of extra time! Well, 
Montes, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, Montes heads it straight to the Newcastle player. We needed a Diogo Jota, Golasso, a wonder goal to seal this win. But Newcastle made it interesting with that uh, amazing goal of uh, themselves. I think we thoroughly deserve this win. We should have scored even more than the two that we got. Six shots on target, but Newcastle had five, so Alisson also deserves some credit. Jota and Salah had brilliant games, but the man of the match was the Newcastle midfielder, Kukchu. And now we are three points ahead of Newcastle instead of four, but the next game is against Man City. That is going to be huge. Man City will be out for blood because they are in mid-table. And amazingly, Brentford, West Ham and Leicester are in the top six. And Newcastle as well. So this was a big win against a very strong Newcastle side. This is why I added the opposition team. Look at this. If I wouldn't, this is the lineup that Man City would play with. There are so many players out of position. It's absolutely insane and all I needed to do is just move players around and now they have a perfect lineup it's crazy how EA still can't fix this issue in career mode and Man City have a very strong team as you can see I changed their right back because I want to face the biggest challenge away at the Etihad and this is going to be a huge game let's go welcome to the Etihad Stadium Man City against Liverpool the Kevin De Bruyne T4 is out and they are in the bottom half of the table Man City and Kiza is in can he oh that is a nasty tackle but it got the ball are you kidding me no Ryan Sterling Ooh, Alisson. oh no Oh no, Ryan Sterling against Joe Gomez. No! How did he go past me? And Moise Kean, of course, finds the bottom corner. Ryan Sterling against Gomez was a mismatch because Sterling is so much faster. And then he does a little shimmy and look, they are doing the Poznan celebration. That's quite brilliant by the Man City fans. And I, Van Dijk, I just couldn't switch to him in time. Are you kidding me? Feel for them. Ooh, Alisson. Come on, Chiesa. Let's go. Bellingham! Terrible finish. Come on. Come on, Van Dijk. Nice. Sanchez. To Chiesa. Jota to Chiesa. And Jota has to finish it! Yes! Diogo Jota! He finds the corner of the net and let's do that worm celebration. <laughs> Jota continues his rich goal scoring form after his magnificent goal against Newcastle. He scores a very important one. Were our biggest title rivals last season, but this season I think they won't be. Six goals now for Jota in the league and I think he can get a lot more. Trent. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half. Come on, Salah. Run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward. Come on, Salah. To Renato Sanchez. Oh, what to say? Oh, oh, Fabinho. Oh, Jota. And Jota Anderson saves it. Oh boy. Kevin De Bruyne to Ferran Torres. Alisson. Can they keep it going? Go on. What? Oh my goodness. How did that not that pass not go through? No! Foden is in! Alison, what a save! Jeez, but danger is not over yet. Yes, Alison! What a magnificent save! Let's freshen up in attack. I want to win this game, so I'm bringing on Diaz, Mane, and also Jones. Oh no. Osiman is in! Ooh, what a tackle! Really, really big. Yes, Mane is in. Sadio, Mane, please! 
Oh, Anderson. Oh, there is a magic ball on the pitch floating in the air. We lacked that little bit of magic in the second half to win this game. But I think this is a frustrating result and it just shows how good we are that a draw away at the Etihad never a bad result. But I'm still a little bit disappointed that I didn't win this game because I felt we had more shots, more shots on target, as you can see. Not sure how Man City's expected goals were 2.9. I remember Alisson making some world-class saves. Over Overall, in a, if you judge on the shots on target, maybe the draw is a fair result. And Diogo Jota was the man of the match. Chelsea took full advantage of us dropping points. They are now right on our heels alongside Man United. Chelsea are just one point behind us. Man United also won. And the biggest surprise is that Sheffield United and Brentford are up there in the table. Arsenal lost to Aston Villa, so Arsenal's struggles continue. But finally Tottenham won a game. And we have some winnable games coming up in the Premier League, so we should climb the table. And I'm happy that Man City did beat us because that leaves them in the bottom half of the table out of the title race. Salah has now no, oh, eight goals, uh, Jota has six uh, and Pryor the young striker of Man United is leading the Premier League top scorers chart but Salah has the most assists in the league. Fabinho and Jota has four goals, uh, four assists each just like Renato Sanchez. We need to beat PSV at home and hope that Dortmund will drop points. It's time for the second team to play once again and the last time it was a really bad defeat against Watford, let's hope against PSV, a little bit of a weaker side, hopefully they will fare better, let's go! Welcome to Anfield, we need to beat PSV if we want to have any chance of winning the group. Funginko. Oh! Oh my, what just happened? Alisson, what are you doing? How can you leave your goal open? Why did it take Alisson so long to get up from the ground? I don't understand. I mean, the first shot was ages ago. Look at Alisson. What is he doing? What is Alisson doing? He's like dancing next to the goal. Look at Alisson. Oh my goodness. Are you still in party mode? Alison, wow, dude, maybe it's the hangover from last night's party or I don't know what was wrong with Alison there, what the hell? Go on, Doku, two, Neko Williams, Naveda, please, oh, saved, come on, Harvey Elliott, Luis Diaz, Luis Diaz, brilliant, another save. Referee correctly decided to opportunity it is. Luis Diaz! Yes! What a nerf! That's another howler, another mix up by the PSV defense. And now Luis Diaz is loving life. Finally, after his two month gold drought, I mean, this, this defender makes two horrendous mistakes. Luis Diaz said, says, Thank you very much. Gondoku. And please. Harvey Elliott! Another save! Doku. Luis Diaz. Two. Harvey Elliott! He shoots over the bar. Naveda. And they leave Mane wide open. Let's. Diaz! What? Surely not. Alisson, brilliant. And Sanchez passes it out. Naveda. Harvey Elliott to Doku and what a passing move but it's offside I can't believe it I wanted to pass it to Harvey Elliott and yeah Luis Diaz is miles offside Harvey Elliott to Doku come on Doku come on you're faster Doku Jeremy Doku please he hits the Post, no! And then the ball is cleared off the line. And Let's bring on Jota, Chiesa and Jones. Madueka. Madueka is very fast. And Alisson can't keep out the chance. And PSV take the lead. And again, our second team just can't defend. And it's really worrying that I can't really rely on my second team because Alisson probably should save that. Chiesa, yes Chiesa, come on, Pretty beautiful, 
Frederico Kiesa to Jota, let's go! It's 2-2, two -two. get in there Jota, let's get the ball, come on. Oh, finally, some quality off the bench and what a finish by Jota. Top bins, we really should have beaten this pretty poor PSV side, but we missed so many chances and PSV took their chances. And if you just judge it by the shots and the expected goals, it was a fair result, but I felt we hit the post and we created more clear chances than PSV and Luis Diaz really should have scored more than his one goal and Dennis Mann was the man of the match Dortmund beat Porto 4-0 so we didn't have a chance of winning the group even if we beat PSV Eindhoven so I don't really mind that draw we finished second so let's see who could we get in the knockout stages we could get Inter just like Liverpool did in real life that would be a pretty decent draw and Victoria Pilsen went to the Europa League we could get Barcelona, wow, though these are mouth-watering ties, Leipzig also went through, and we could get AC Milan, now that would be a brilliant draw, I would love that pretty much uh, myself. We could get Juventus as well, so there are no easy, easy teams who win the Champions League group, uh, you know, there are no weaker sides, but Lyon, wow, Lyon did the unthinkable, they won, won the group ahead of Athletic Bilbao and Bayern Munich, so Lyon on Liverpool would be the easiest draw on paper. We can't get Man United because Man United are of course playing in England just like ourselves and the same is with Man City who won the group ahead of Wolfsburg and Sheffield United are in the top six in the Premier League and you can see why when you look at their team and Nat Phillips is actually now a 79 rated player so I might bring him back but let me know should I maybe swap Montes with Nat Phillips we are playing my strongest possible lineup again. our cameras on one man up against his former club will he make an impact and it's quite realistic that one of our former centre-backs goes to Sheffield United because I think Ben Davis playing there on Logan from Liverpool. Let's beat them. A good Liverpool move in the mix. And Salah is in, and Salah finishes it. What a start to the game! Absolutely brilliant. Mo Salah, let's go. I was thinking about banning him and having a shot with him, but Salah made such a great run, and his low finish beats the goalkeeper. Salah still got it. He's our top scorer in the league. Nine goals in 15 games. Bellingham. And this is Diogo Jota now. And Bellingham. Jota! Oh. And Sanchez, bang! 2-0! What a brilliant start to this game! Renato Sanchez, clinical finishing! And Jude Bellingham is having a brilliant game. That's his second assist. Sanchez. Fabinho. Fabinho. Bang! Fabinho almost scored another one. Diogo Jota. Diogo on Bellingham. Jota. And Renato Sanchez to Salah. It's free there. Mo Salah is having a field day. Absolutely brilliant. Salah was making such a great run. Renato Sanchez finds him. Then Salah takes it down with his leg and buries it. Beautiful. No. Brown Hill. Mm, what a shot. Oh, what a pass. Oh, Van Dijk, go out to him! Brilliant block by Van Dijk, and the shot hits the post. Just watch this defending by Van Dijk. Oh, that is stunning. Jota! Ooh, that was a fantastic attack. Brilliant skills. Brilliant. Kiesa. Go on, Kiesa! And Jota, I can't. Sadio Mane, brilliant! Unbelievable, this goalkeeper. Go on, Mane. And Harvey Elliott! What does that finish? Go on, Trent. Trent! Trent looks Ronald! Ah! I can't finish in the second half. No. Sargent goes in! Ooh, Alisson with a massive save. Go on, Mane. Mane. 
To Harvey Elliott, this goalkeeper, what did he eat at halftime? I want to know because that is one of the best goalkeeping performances that you will see. Go on, Diaz, go on, Diaz. Surely, Mane, finally we break the goalkeeper's resistance. I can't believe it took like 10 shots for one to go in. I tried so many times to score another one and Mane from a very tight angle buries it. This is how you win against a smaller team. A very convincing victory. Sheffield United don't know what hit them. Throughout the whole game we battered them. 20 shots. I very rarely have 20 shots so this is a well deserved 4 nail win. To be fair to Sheffield, maybe they deserve to score at least one goal. 13 shots on target. Look at our shooting map on the left. <laughs> And even though Salah scored two goals, Bellingham was the man of the match with two assists. This goalkeeping map is just crazy to me, wow. The Manchester Derby ended in a 1-1 draw, that's the perfect result for us. And Watford got a big win, but Leicester won as well. So Leicester are in the top four and they are going strong. And thankfully Chelsea didn't win either. So we extend our lead to three points at the top of the table. And Leeds United, bottom of the table, Leeds United beat Arsenal 3-1 and Tottenham also didn't win so Leeds United at least got a lifeline in this uh, fight against relegation and now Salah is the top scorer of the Premier League absolutely brilliant Jota has six goals Mane and Sanchez has five each uh, Salah and uh, sorry Mane and Chiesa has five each Salah and, and Renato Sanchez are the top assist guys in the Premier League and incredibly Mane is our top scorer wow I didn't know that yes mainly because he scored four goals in two League Cup games but still it's quite amazing Jota has 11 and Salah has 11 goals as well Chiesa has seven Luis Diaz six goals and eight assists he's having a brilliant first season at Liverpool and also Renato Sanchez and Bobby Firmino is having a good season as well and in the next episode we will play some winnable games uh, coming up and Leicester City away is going to be the toughest but then we play Tottenham as well thanks for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later Good night.